guys, it's Shirai. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Shirai. And yeah, so before we get into this video, what you want to do is hit the subscribe button, turn on all your post notifications so you never miss the time that I upload. And we're going to get right into it. So, as you can see by the title, today I'm going to be doing an install video and it's going to be on this wig right here. Yes, uh, this wig is from Ali Pearl Hair on AliExpress. And I got the little details right here before I forget because i don't know where the paper went i had this wig for a long time and honestly to tell you the truth like i tried to send it back because when i got it i wasn't really impressed with it but somehow again i end up getting stuck with a wig this is my second time and i'm at the point now where it's like do i really want to keep giving these people my money like there's so many so many things that went on with it and it's on but i'm gonna just tell y'all this right now my my wig don't fit and even now like my braids is coming out the back and that's just you know it is what it is and i'm gonna tell you details in a second so this wig is the highlight human hair lace front wig and kinky curly it is the ombre lace front hair length 22 inches 180 percent density cap size large color 017 so it's like a wavy deep wave and with the highlights in it of course and you know yeah so um you know, like I said, it's 22 inches and it's 180% density and this is deep wave. Um, it's good and closer. So this is what my hair is looking like. I've tried to put mousse on it. I tried to put, sorry. I keep, well, I keep messing with it, but I, I've been putting like, um, you know, like just some hair mousse on it to keep it, like to tame it. And it'll be good, but then it'll like, it'll frizz right back up. So, I'm gonna keep it like that and see if it stays. But, I don't know. You know, that's just one of the things. So, the reason I started to return the wig is because I got it and right off the back I measured it and it wasn't truly 22 inches and they telling me oh you gotta measure it this way so it's like you know i've sent them emails and pictures with me in the measurement so the back was reaching seven no the front was reaching 17 the back was reaching like 19 i'm like it's not 22 and um you know they're like oh no you gotta measure it this way so basically they want you to take from here from this piece of hair and go all the way to your last strand on the last track of the wig and that's supposed to be 22 inches but i'm like if y'all measuring that way that's not really 22 inches so it's crazy because when you see you know the people who do the hair reviews that get sent hair from you know these companies and you see them with that and you get yours and you're like hmm mines don't look like that like it makes you wonder and then i also when i was doing my hair and i had wrapped my edges my mom was just like you know like i tried to wrap you know because the wig came with the scarf it came you know i'll, I'll show a little unboxing video on the side of whatever you can give me here if i have it because i can't remember if i it or not but this is you know the little scarf they have and it's like you see everybody else with it but this scarf like this scarf is like thicker than my sheet so it's not really like a silk scarf and it's like you know it's so so why so what i had to do was when i tied my edges of course i had to fold it in half and even with that being done it's still like really thick material it doesn't feel like a regular silk scarf so i didn't have my other scarf here so i use this one because you know like i was using my ali pearl wig so it's just like i might as well use a little scarf piece, you know? well not really sent me but that i paid for it. and you know that was that and to get into details So that wasn't really my concern. My concern was just like, you know, it's, it's not as, as long. It's not the full 22 inches. And when you see other people, it's 22 inches. You'd be like, why? Um, this way, it does shed a lot. Like, I 
after I bleached and well even before I bleached and when I was just like running my fingers through it I was getting like strands of hair and stuff like that so just be mindful of that um one thing I can say is just I didn't I didn't pluck anything like my hair is like my hair is basically like gel down right now but I didn't pluck anything like that uh made just a couple baby hairs because I was really like over it by the time I actually finished installing the wig because not only was it a process this is my first time doing like the ball cap method but it's just like the wig just doesn't fit me and I got a large cap size like I thought if I got a large I would have extra room but I didn't have any room so it was like the wig is barely it's barely here like excuse this because I was rushing and my lace like keeps coming up but also it's like pulling a little bit because it's like really snug but you know that's that but that's all the details to this wig um if you want to you know get this wig and try it out or if you want it in a shorter size i would to be honest i wish i got this shorter because i'm like i'm thinking i'm gonna get it long it's gonna be all nice long and flowy i should have just got it like maybe like an 18 or 16 inch just to have like a nice little deep wig wig for the summer but i mean it's still cute and stuff like that so i can't be mad i just wish it was longer for, especially for the price that i paid i just wish everything was accurate and i wish the wig actually fit but i made it work somehow so we're gonna get right into the video and yeah. so before i start the video i just wanted to show you guys what this wig looked like fresh out of the bag i meant like of course i um i took it out before to examine it and then it stayed in my bag for like two weeks and here i am so as you can see it got one clip at the bottom and then two in like the middle and this is what the lace is looking like i didn't bleach or anything yet um i really like this wig and i really like the how they say added to it but it's just like it was just a whole lot of shedding going on but of course you know it looked a little bit better after i wash it and things like that um i will say though like throughout the video i um i bleached the knots but somehow they didn't bleach so maybe one day i'll go back and like try to re-bleach them it was weird but you know i just want to show you guys you know what the the hairline and all that stuff is looking like and then i'm going to get into me actually putting the wig on so as you can see right here i have the wig on and i you know i put the hair back a little bit and i didn't pluck the hairline or anything like that so that's just, just you know what things is looking like um like i said i ordered a large cap size but for some reason like the wig was just it wasn't maybe my head is just big i don't know because like i braid i had my mom braid my hair down and you know like it was sitting fine like all my other wigs fit but this one it just wouldn't like it didn't like me for some reason and i was like you know what i'm still going to install it and i'm going to work with it for video purposes because you know maybe somebody can learn from my experience or you know they can you know give me some tips on advice and stuff like that so you know i did do the ball cap method but i didn't want to include that in this video because i think i'm gonna do a separate video on that because i low-key fucked it up <laughs> but <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a separate video but i decided to just cut two slits in there so uh my wig so it's gonna be easier for me to install and please don't come from my ball cap method like i said it's my first time doing it and yeah so I'm taking my ghost bond glue and i'm just gonna put that on my hairline and on the wig and um looking at this like it's weird because when i did i did my hair in the mirror of course and in the mirror it didn't look this bad so like on camera it looks like you know nothing is blending and stuff like that like i know the edges like i could have cut more but like so many things went wrong like my scissors were too dull and it wasn't trying to cut it was just so much but i was like you know what i'm not gonna have this wig on long anyway so i'm still gonna go with it but as you can see right here i'm just putting the ghost bond along the hairline and then i'm gonna um you know take my comb smooth it all out and then i'm just gonna get back into like laying the lace down stuff like that
right here I'm starting to lay the wig down and I'm just using my comb to like you know just smooth it out of course because I see a lot of people lay their wig down and then they cut the um lace off my other wigs I cut all the lace off and then I laid it down and it was a bit harder for me to actually lay it down so I figured I'd try this method but um that's all I'm doing I'm just taking my comb and I'm just like pushing the lace into my skin of course and then I'm going to take my blow dryer to just you know dry all of that and you know just get that to stay down So by the time I laid this lace down and I started cutting it, I realized that um, I had put it up a little bit too far because I was trying so hard to, you know, get it to just sit on my hairline. But it's just, it was it was everywhere and it was a mess. But like I said, I still worked with it anyway because it don't fit anyway. I'm just going to say that it don't fit. So that's why um, I did a middle part. I mean, I did a side part instead of a middle part. But as you can see right here, like... I told you I bleached the knots, but you could still see the knots, so that was kind of weird. Then on top of that, like, I was forgetting steps. Like, I forgot to, like, use my uh, foundation powder to put on the lace so it can actually blend in with my hairline. But I did go on top of it and fix it a little bit. But like I said, I didn't do too much because I already knew I was going to keep the wig on long anyway. And I'm mad because they gave me a hard time trying to return it anyways. But as you can see right here, I'm just taking this little eyebrow rosy eyebrow rolly eyebrow razor and i'm just cutting off that excess lace and then i was cutting off my ear tabs because it was very uncomfortable and um yeah so i still don't know why like my lace my uh wig cap looks orange like my camera's giving off a weird color because same color is my found like literally my foundation and my foundation matches me so that's that but um as you can see right here i'm i took the ghost bond glue and i dried it down a little bit because i did have lace that lifted of course and that was expected because yeah i don't know how many times i want to say this wig doesn't fit so yeah but that's all i'm doing and you guys can you know just sit here listen to music and watch the rest
So I decided on the middle part, and as you can see, I'm just taking a lot of body um, wrapping, like I think it's like mousse. And I'm just gonna sit here and detangle my hair a little bit. Um, I kept going back and forth on wanting a middle part or, you know, like a, um, a side part, because I usually don't do side parts, I do middle parts. Then I was like, do I wanna wear half up, half down? But then I was like, mm, I don't know, because my lace, like, it was just all over the place. And like I said, I had skipped the step of um, putting my, powder on my uh, lace so it can really match but I just kept going back and forth on what I wanted to do and so finally I was like you know what I'm just going to do the side part because I tried doing a half up half down then I was like you know what let me just try put the middle up like literally nothing was working and my wig looked kind of wiggy to me because of maybe like how I placed it on my forehead I don't know but Definitely gonna look better the second time I install it if I decide to really do it a second time because I like this wig and then I didn't. But um, I might cut it in something like that. But as you can see, I just kept going back and forth and then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do the side part. So I was just gonna go and grab my, um, my, uh, <laughs> what the heck? I can't even talk. I'm gonna grab my uh, hot comb and then I'm gonna go ahead and lay everything down and you know, do what I gotta do. So all that debating I finally got to my side part and then I did take out some baby hairs and I didn't really cut them I don't think I cut these like I just used the mousse to just lay the hair down and then you know I decided to just take that thick ass um, scarf to lay down my edges and that was harder than doing anything like tying that scarf was harder than me damn near putting a wig on but that's none of my business but I was decided like I just fixed my baby hairs a little bit because I do know like you know of course if the wind blows something like that like I still got to make sure my hairline looks straight so this is me like my first impression of actually like trying to put the scarf on I'm like all right it's too wide so let me go ahead and tie it then I realized like all right because I be seeing everybody tie it bring it around tie it in the front this scarf is thick okay so I'm just gonna let y'all know this now it was not easy to tie like my regular silk scarf because I was like if I knew all that you know I would have just grabbed my regular scarf but you know I was just trying to show off my little scarf that came with it so you know that's that but I put that on my head for probably like 20 minutes because I think I went to go eat and then I came back and um you know it did lay my hair down so I was you know impressed by that and then um here I am putting mousse on my hair and just showing you guys what the hair looks like in the back and I'm just sitting there, you know, um, just looking at everything because I think I like I tied my scarves tight and like all my hair felt like it was sticking to my forehead. But right there, I'm just taking some wax stick. I can't remember where I got it from to lay my part down so it can look, you know, kind of flat and it doesn't look like super, super wiggy. And I'm taking my hot comb and I don't know what brand hot comb this is. I got it from like I think I found it at a consignment shop, to be honest, like three years ago. But I'm just taking that hot comb and I'm just, you know, making my part flat just so everything can, you know, sit nice and kind of neat. Because I like big, wild hair, but I also like it in neat in a way. And, um, you know, that's just about it. So, like I said, I'll leave all the details to this wig and everything below. And hopefully you guys learned from this video on what to do and what not to do. And hopefully you guys, you know, see me next video. Subscribe, all that good stuff. And, yeah. So that is all for this video and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, subscribe, yes. And while you're at it, follow me on IG and Twitter at underscore I am Shariah. Yes, yes, yes. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on the gram. Follow me on Twitter. I barely be on there, but I'm on there. And I will see you guys next video. Bye.